Mano Raju, San Francisco's public defender. And, you know, it's easy to throw stones, to criticize, to try to tear down efforts at healing. But what's not easy to do is the work that everyone up here does day in and day out, which is put their heart and soul and wisdom into saving people's lives every single day. And we've heard some beautiful words here today that I think motivate these efforts. Unconditional love, radical inclusion. That's what we should be building towards. We just had a meeting in our office and we unveiled a new logo, which you're gonna see, see soon. And the motto of our logo is greater than one. And to me, that's what everyone here represents because people are working in their own areas, but they're working together and they're providing the services that are necessary. We in the public defender's office are committed to defending everyone's constitutional rights vigorously and providing the best, best defense they can, but we're also trying to do much, much more than that. We are the social workers, the facilitators, that for whatever reason people come into our care, we want them getting to a better place in their lives, right? We just got funding for an end the cycle program. And one of our members, and these are when we hired boots on the grounds, people really connected to the city. And one of them came up to me after work, and he was so, the joy on his face, and he said, you know what? I got this young person housed today. And the satisfaction that he had and the impact that's gonna have on that individual's life and the, and the impact of all those connected to that individual is huge. And as we said before, it's not measurable, but it's deep and it's beautiful and it's powerful, right? And what we want to do is to have those boots on the ground and the cycle social workers that we hired connecting people and being part of that connective tissue of this city. And it's that connective tissue, boots on the ground case managers, boots on the ground programs that are really meeting people where they're at and figuring out how do we get people to a marginally better place and then hopefully to a, mu a much better place. That's what we need in this city. And it's something we're gonna be continue to do. As public defenders, we're gonna defend individuals, but we're also gonna defend public health. We're gonna defend this connective to tissue and we're going to defend hope. Thank you.